Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to answer the question can HackerOS be used as a gaming operating system? So by the end of this episode we're going to be able to understand if we can play games on HackerOS and if it's great for um, gamers to play their games on. Anyway, let's get started shall we? So what I would do is click on to view, now full screen mode and now switch. So as you guys can see what I have done was I have installed four games which I'll be testing out in this episode. I'll be testing out B-Mines, I'll be testing out our Breakout, and I'll be also testing out our Mobiles, and I'll be testing out La Lecris. So what I would start off with is B-Mines, which is basically a clone of the Windows popular game, Minesweeper. Um, anyway, I'm gonna open it right now and just to see how well it runs in HackerOS. Open B-Mines. So as you guys can see, I have the game opened. Okay, now I can click on to here, can't I? Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty cool. I know I'm going fire bar. That's not good. <laughs> now I click on to this happy space. Uh, I mean sad face, and I can start playing the game. I don't know what this in the game. Um, I can click on to game, and I can obviously, um, okay. Settings, difficulty, I can click on to expert, and expert will be a bigger screen. And I can click on to these buttons. I like the way it's It's pretty cool. But as you guys can see, I keep on getting blown up. <laughs> on my first try. But as you guys can see, I'm able to play this game just fine and I can difficulty by doing that. And I can also change the theme, right? So I can change it to B classic theme, which looks more like Windows sort of thing, like Windows um 97 or something like that. Oh no, I was blown up again. I'm going to close out of this and as you guys can see, I'm able to play B-Mines. It runs pretty well. It is an odd game, but it runs pretty, 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 pretty well. Now I'm going to be trying out a game called Our Breakout 2, um, which you're going to be able to tell what it is by the screenshot. We guys probably have played this game before, but as you guys can see, we need to try and destroy these blocks over here. Um, but you're not allowed to make the ball um, leave the screen, like to fall down. So what I have to do is kind of um, catch a ball using this brick of here, so if a ball can bounce and destroy more blocks. But if it goes down, then I believe that the game will end if it's not catch a ball. Um, now I'm going to close out this, and now I'm going to open up the game. And then from here, I can click on to controls. Um, so to right is left, and to right, okay, so left would be left and then right would be right um, fire would be Y, space would be right fire okay so yeah it's simple basically I'm gonna click on to back and now from here I can click on to a local game and now I can start original set okay so as you guys can see I'm able to play this game and destroy these blocks isn't this wonderful okay let me just try to do oh my gosh the ball was going so fast how many lives do we get I think we get like three lives or something. Uh, I can't tell anything. Uh, hold on, I'm now distracted in this game. Oh no, I, I, I know that I missed. <laughs> I missed again. But as you guys can see, I'm able to play this game just fine. Just try to do that. So this one is actually potion. Okay, I got extra skills. Oh my gosh, I made it smaller. We lost all lives. Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy a continue for one hundred percent of the score? No thanks. Game over. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm able to play this game. Now I click on to back, and I click on to quit, and yeah, so I'm able to play our breakout two just fine. And now I can click on to our marbles. I've never played this game before. But I'm willing to learn what it's about. Um, new game, difficulty normal. I'm gonna go for easy, 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 easy. And I think that's fine, right? Profile level set original. So do I go back? Um, new game. Now I click on to start. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, this is basically for game. So what do I do in it? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, wait, I think I know what I have to do in it. Okay. Uh, I think this is like a puzzle sort of game. 
what I will do is move this to begin with, um, so that way I can do something like this, and I think this one needs to go down to there. Oh wait, I need to make this pattern. Okay. Um, dang it. So I guess that this were to go right over here, and now from here I can put this right at the top, and then from here I can put this one at the top as well. I don't know. But as you guys can see, this is how guys should be able to play this game. Uh, but maybe with these marbles. Just like this. But I'm not going to close out of this as I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> and I want to keep this video short. Now I will be testing out the game La L Twitris, which is basically going to be a very simple game. And I'll be able to play it. So now click on to L Twist. Um, which is basically a treacherous game, but open source. And now click on to um, controls, and then click on to player one, and then from here we'll be able to learn all the controls. So yeah, they're basically very simple. And now I'm going to go to back, and now I'm going to click on to new game, and now I'm going to click on to start game. Okay, so what I will do is drag this down here, because then I can always put this down like this, can't I? And I'll be very quickly do this. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to change this to go down like this, and I'm going to put this um, right over there, and I'm going to put them stacking on top of each other now, um, which is pretty cool. You can just play this game. So as you guys can see, I have just lost the game, but um, I did pretty well as I got a very good score. Now I'm going to click on to quit, and then once I click on to quit, then I exit from the game. So as you guys can see, these four games run pretty well, but they are very old games, um, as you guys can tell. Like this one is from 2001, this one is from 2018, but this one has a more of a modern look than it did with Minesweeper, for example. As you guys can see, it has a more of a modern look. If I click on to settings and theme, if I click on to GNOME, then it, as you guys can see, it had a more of a modern look and has more themes available. So if you click on to Classic, you can click on to the B theme if we truly wanted to, um, which would be more like this. We can click on to Grey and it looks more modern. And our Breakout 2 is quite an old game, but it runs pretty well. And our Marbles is quite an old game, but I don't know how to play the game, so I can't say much about it. But it does seem like it has good performance. And I'm able to play this game if I learned how to play it. And that Latris also runs pretty well. And be a bear in mind, I'm running this inside a photo machine and it runs epic. Um, as you guys can tell. Now for real question is, is this a gaming operating system? And my answer to this is that it's not really um, a gaming operating system. It's more of a simple operating system that was just designed to basically allow you to basically create word documents, to browse the web and to be able to use this as a, um, as a basic usage, such as to be able to watch YouTube videos. It's not really intended for gaming. But for gaming, as you guys can see, it does have some games available, but not a lot. So if you're looking to replace Linux or um, FreeBSD or anything like that, um, as a gaming operating system to replace Windows with this, the answer will be um, no, do not go for this, as it does not have um, a lot of games available. It doesn't have Steam, it doesn't have Epic Games, so as it does not have Steam, then you guys won't be able to play with Steam games, um, and you won't be able to play like um, high-end high -end games, such as um, Forza Horizon. So it's quite limited on the amount of games that is available, at a small amount. But um, if you only play like games like Super Tux Cart, or if you like to play old games such as Mines, like Minesweeper, um, then this is a great gaming operating system as it has quite a few games available such as Super Tux, which is basically a Mario clone So my question to you and my question so basically my answer to a question would be that it can be used as a gaming operating system um, But it's not really for gaming and um, as, as I have explained it has only gotten a few amount of games available Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.